three ways to stop smoking that good gas, right? If you're smoking that good gas every day, believe me, it is a easy, easy habit to develop and it's a hard habit to stop. And the, the, the gas that you see nowadays is different than the gas that we had whenever I was a kid, whenever I was in high school. It is way stronger, way more concentrated, way more addicting. And I would com I would damn right compare it to, to harder drugs now, such as like doing like the pills, doing like the, the you know, the hard stuff that you shoot up. I got something in my mouth. But understand, guys, you got to stop smoking that good gas because the more you smoke that good gas, the less successful you're going to be, the more you're frying your brain. And, you know, people used to tell me this stuff all the time. I used to be like, yeah, yeah, like, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. Until whenever I was trying to do work, it would come to a point where I would, I was, I would try to do work and I could only operate at 3% of my brain. I was just moving so damn slow. And people were telling me I was slow. And I'm not a slow person, right? You know, I'm not like naturally like stupid. Like I'm actually a really fast worker. I'm really smart. But it was whenever I would smoke that good gas. I could not access my full capacity of my brain. And that's the reason why a lot of you guys got to stop smoking that good gas, especially if you want to be successful. You got to ask yourself, man, is which is more, which is more, uh, 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 which do I want, right? Do I want to be successful or do I want to feel good and smoke that good gas? And especially with alcohol too, you shouldn't even be doing alcohol. You're going to look like complete junk. If you drink alcohol, alcohol is terrible. As a man, no man should ever drink alcohol. That is straight up poison. Marijuana is also poison, but marijuana is like harder. It's easier to, to mask, especially if, you know, you uh, just in terms of looking at your body and your physique. But when you talk to somebody and you look at them, you know that they're smoking that good gas. And I know that my eyes are red. A lot of y'all say that I'm already faded. Nah, guys, I'm just Nigerian. You know, we got naturally red eyes, right? So like, my, I'm not faded. I don't smoke that good gas. Let me tell you all my story a little bit though. Understand guys, I, sm I started smoking when I was 15. And I understand like, you know, at that point I didn't have a lot going for me. I didn't have God in my life. I just wanted to be cool. I just wanted to fit in, honestly. And I didn't even know what it was gonna feel like. I just, I, I just felt like I was always missing something. And so, you know, I started smoking when I was 15, 16 years old. And that's when I felt it. I was like, damn, I never felt a spiritual like connection like that to anything. And the thing was, that's what it's going to do. It's going to make you feel like you're spiritually connected to something. But no, you're not spiritually connected to anything. You're really just getting high, right? And, you, and the thing is, if you are feeling something spiritual when you're smoking, the only thing that you're feeling that, that, that you're really feeling when you're smoking is a spiritual connection to demons because it's opening up portals in your life. That's what you got to understand. So it was at that point, I was very mediocre. I was a mediocre student. I would barely do my work. I mean, I would do my work, but I would do it just as, the, as mediocre as possible. I was like a, you know, a BA, sometimes get C student, right? I wasn't amazing. And I, I would just do enough to pass. And I was never doing outstanding work. I was never trying to do business. But it was after I got into college, right? And I was smoking every day, mind you, right? And I had, I didn't have, a, you know, at one point I had a lot of friends and boom, I had no friends. And I went to college. I was smoking because, you know, I wanted to, you know, I, I still wanted to be cool. But at, at one point, though, it got to a point where I was just lonely and I just wanted to spend time alone and it made it easier to spend time alone. So I would smoke. And it, what you got to understand what's, what weed actually does to you, right? Understand. And this is what they don't tell you, right? Marijuana, what it does is, let's say, for example, you a high vibrating dude, right? Like you're, like you're, you're on a high frequency, Right, like let's say for example, you know, like you're a really intelligent person. Like, you know, if you're watching this video, you're probably hardworking, you're probably really intelligent. So let's say for example, you're a really intelligent person and you start smoking weed, right? And you know you have ambitions. What that weed is gonna do, let's say for example, the weed is at a five vibration, you're at a 10 vibration naturally. And uh, so what the weed is gonna do is gonna drag you down to a five vibration. Now, if you're a zero vibration or if you're a two vibration, it's gonna bring you up to a five. So if you're a low vibrating dude, it's gonna you're gonna think that, oh man, I'm in my zone. Oh man, you know, weed helps me, you know, it helps me with work, it helps me whatever, whatever. But understand, it's just because you're a low vibrating person. And if that's the case, then you probably got something else that you're missing in life. But you gotta understand that if you're high vibrating and that you're you you're doing and you're trying to do something massive, like become a millionaire, right? You're trying to build a nice physique, you're trying to do whatever it is, it's gonna lower your vibration and it's gonna make living harder, it's gonna make things harder, all for the sake of getting some pleasure. So for me personally, y'all, 
I, you know, I, I stopped smoking weed for around a, a year and a half, and then I started smoking weed up again, like the uh, when uh, from like January, February to like July of this year. And you know, I was on it every day. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, right? I was on it every day, and I, I've quit smoking weed around three, four times in my life. I'm gonna get on this side. I, I stopped smoking weed like three, four times in my life for like a year, right? So I mean, I didn't smoke it every single day, like without quitting. But like three or four years, I, I, like, I would, I would uh, probably like three good years I was off, right? Like in total of the time I accumulated. So it was like, so I've learned the lessons on what works and what doesn't work. And before I tell you the three things, the most important one's gonna be towards the end to so make sure you're watching the, the full thing, right? Firstly, my name is Bashir. If you've never seen me, I make self-improvement videos. I make these type of videos whenever I can, every week, at least once, twice, three times a week, right? I'll make these type of videos. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you like it. It lets YouTube know that I don't suck and that what I'm giving you is helpful and it's valuable. But anyways, you gotta understand though, um, and I, I, this is gonna be the first tip, right? It's gonna be the first tip. But understand the timeline of when you quit weed. You're gonna, it's gonna suck for the first week. It always does, it sucks. You're just gonna feel like smoking for the first week. You don't feel like talking to nobody. And then you go through with it. And then you're, okay, the second week, you feel good. First month, you feel good. Second month, you feel good. And then when you get to that three month mark to six month mark, that's where the habit is really forming where you're not smoking weed anymore. And understand what's gonna happen, guys, is that you're actually going to feel the urge to shift back. Like you're gonna be like, oh, you know what? It's all right, I can smoke, you know, like, it's just weed. Like I was actually pretty good whenever I was on it. It's, that's the addiction. A lot of people are addicted. I was addicted. I'm, you know, you never, they say addiction never really leaves you, but understand guys, I, like, I'm, I was addicted to weed. You're probably addicted to weed, right? If you're smoking every day, you're addicted to weed. So understand, it's like after that six month mark, if you can get past those urges, because like for me, I had to know, like it was like a year, a year and a half, it's gonna keep creeping up. Addiction never leaves. So I understand like th those times where you're like, oh, I can smoke weed. That's when you're gonna relapse. That's when you're gonna relapse and then you're gonna start smoking weed again, again every single day. So you have to eliminate that. You have to know what's coming. If you're serious about this, you gotta tell yourself, I'm serious. That's the second tip I got for y'all. You gotta decide I'm serious. You gotta decide that you wanna really lock in. Because if you really wanna lock in, if you really wanna stop smoking marijuana, you really wanna to, to really change your life, start making 10, 20 bands a month, start living in nice places. Start li li look at this place, right? This all happened when I stopped smoking weed. I was able to get my credit up. I was able to start making more money. I was able to, you know, get my fashion up, get my circle up, you know, and, you know, I'm telling y'all, like, whenever you get rid of the vices in your life, Think, like, I'm not telling you I'm a millionaire, right? I'm not telling you that I'm, like, the greatest nigga ever to live, right? But, you know, I'm I'm doing something, right? You know, I'm I'm doing something. And that's what, you know, it don't, like, there's pe other people who are doing stuff. And we want you to join us, right? We want you to join us. It don't take, it don't take a, a, a million dollars to live a nice lifestyle, to live in a nice place. I used to live in the hood, right? I grew up in the hood. I'm from the hood. My peoples didn't have a lot. You know, I grew up poor. And you know what? It's like now I see the life that I'm living now. I ran to I'm not where I want to be, but it's a lot better than wherever, whenever I started, wherever I was. And you know, I'm like, I'm a lot, a lot better. And you know what? For anybody who wants that, you know, I can, you know, this is exactly how you do it. Is you start by getting rid of the removing stuff in your life. A lot of people think that you got to add stuff in your life, but you actually got to start removing all the vices in your life. Now, last one, most important tip. I'm going to give you all a little bonus, right? But last one, most important tip, right? is the the removing stuff right it's like you got to start removing everything right that that starts to, that gets you to smoke not just smoking you got to stop drinking you got to stop masturbating you got to stop whatever it is stop being lazy you got to wake up early you got to change your whole life in one full sweep and it's going to take a few times if you relapse it's okay if you if you don't stick to it like in that second it's okay you just get back up you try it again it's not gonna stick the first time around. Like it's it's so silly that people think that if they, they relapse once on semen retention, they relapse once on smoking marijuana, they relapse once on whatever, like it's, it's done. Understand guys, and this is gonna lead me to the most important, like the, the last one, this one's even more important, right? But is that a lot of times with, with all these addictions, what's behind it is really trauma, like childhood trauma. Like for me, I was severely neglected. You know, I didn't have a lot of love growing up. I didn't spend a lot of time with my parents. 
growing up. Like I didn't like you know it's like they worked a lot. It's like you know my, I had a, a little like a lot of manipulation, a lot of like neglect. Like I didn't like I I didn't eat right. Like I, sometimes I didn't eat. That's why I grew up so skinny because I didn't get a lot of food growing up. And you know it's a lot of emotional abuse. And you know it's a lot of that trauma is the reason why a lot of people have addictions and a lot, why a lot of people can't stop smoking marijuana. Why a lot of people have a, like anything right? Like anything that like stop thinking of the addiction as the addiction is what you're trying to heal. You're really trying to gain the skill of getting rid of your trauma. You're really trying to go deep into your trauma. Now you don't gotta go deep into every single trauma, but you gotta go into the reason why am I smoking? Why am I masturbating? Why am I doing this? And I t I'm telling you, your life will progress. You'll get that girl that you want. You'll get the money that you want. You'll get the, the lifestyle that you want, everything that you want. If my name is Bash, I love y'all. I'm signing out, deuce.